Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at new Black Widow Clairvoyant. Now I did miss for a 5 star, however I do have a 4 star. So we are going to be testing her on a full path in Act 4. This is a 330 4 star, so it's fairly uh, compatible kind of comparison. And so first thing we can see that she can be poison immune. She, she starts the fight bleed immune, uh, then once you switch to the next curse, she goes poison immune and the last curse is incinerate immunity. And she actually plays around with these immunities quite a bit and quite extensively uh, and has a chance to increase power gain and basically gets a lot of benefit from it, which we're gonna get later into the video. But as we can see here, we have absolutely no problem dealing with this abomination. Uh, using our poison immunity. So quickly, how she more or less works is she has diff three different curses uh, and these curses are associated with some sort of damage or time debuffs. So first curse is bleed and that lets her inflict bleeds on opponent with heavy attack or finishing combo with medium. And second curse is poison, that the same thing. She When she's in that curse, she becomes poison immune and lets her poison opponents with finishing combos with medium, level ones or heavy attack. And then the same goes for incinerate. So basically you kind of can choose your immunity, you can choose your weapon. What does it mean? It means that she is extremely versatile and extremely suicide friendly character, even more so she's actually suicide dependent character just because the damage output isn't the best and you really do want the damage increase from suicide masteries. Uh, so each of these uh, curses has a different effect on her level two as well. Uh, if you are on a bleed curse, you can get a lot of heal. If you are on poison curse, you get uh, to power steal opponent uh, based on their current power. And if you are on incinerate curse, you deal extra damage. So depending on what kind of fight you are doing, you shift in between these curses, stay in the curse mode that you do want, and then you have a lot of utility in these fights. Also level two has a uh, buff uh, called buff immunity and while that is active opponent can't gain any buffs which is extremely interesting like this is a perfect fight to demonstrate against juggernaut because uh, yeah here we can see that juggernaut has a buff immunity active on him he's gonna launch his special too and he didn't go unstoppable so she can counter pretty much any effects and that adds a lot to her versatility and also if you are on poison curse increased power gain a mechanic lets you kind of gain your power faster and spam your level twos uh, plus combined with her power gain mechanics on her clairvoyant charges now i'm not going to be actually i don't think using any level three in these videos uh, just because a i'm not a big fan of having to go to level three and b quite often you don't even need it uh, unless you're facing like some massively stacked opponents but once again so we're starting the fight here we're finishing with light attack we switch to a poison curse just to get that poison debuff off us because we go poison immune and then once we are at poison curse we have several options how we want to proceed we can go to hellfire incinerate uh, curse and have a burst of damage now i did make a mistake i thought i'm going to be at level two and that could help potentially finish her but i accidentally launched my level one uh, but still not a big deal can still finish her uh, but if we want to heal we need to shift back to our bleed curse which is kind of like super easy to do uh, but here we i decided to finish the fight off with uh, the hellfire curse which is incinerate one but basically what clairvoyant reminds me of it is a really upgraded more easy to use version of ghost rider because you do have essentially effects sim similar of fate seal power drain uh regen uh, and some added damage and yeah so it basically kind of combines the functionality of ghost rider just in a lot better kind of package you also have power gain mechanics that lets you control the fight much better you have more immunities and so yeah in my eyes uh, clairvoyant is largely an updated more versatile modern ghost rider and i do like it a lot i really like this champion i think uh, the lack of damage isn't uh, the showstopper for her because i th still think under hellfire curse spamming level two she can deal a lot of damage also in some specific matchups especially if you're using mystic dispersion i do not have mystic dispersion active here but with mystic dispersion hellfire curse her power gain mechanics she can really pack a decent punch she's not going to be hitting like ghost but no not many champions do and definitely not many champions has this much utility so here we're going to be fighting against uh, deadpool and what we're doing first of all we shifted to poison curse just 
to reduce the heal he's getting. As you can see here, he's not healing for anything at all. Uh, also, our buff immunity buff that we place on him, preventing him from activating regeneration. So, first of all, Clairvoyant is extremely kind of user friendly with Despair Mastery because you can debuff opponent a lot and maintain a lot of debuffs on opponent. Additionally, Poison in itself reduces heal. So, even if you don't run, the spare mastery why you're spamming those poisons and spamming heavy attacks with poison and maybe level ones if you have to you can completely shut down anybody's regeneration like very easily and yeah so that is definitely a great piece of utility uh, so that would also work even against like passive regeneration because even against active regeneration buffs you have your buff immunity and you can control it that way uh, but yeah, so I do like how differently you can kind of like use all these different mechanics, different immunities, uh, heal her up. As you can see, we are multiple fights in the quest, running suicide masteries, and our health bar has never really dipped too much uh, under kind of control. We're always uh, finishing the fights close to the maximum health, and we're having a fairly easy time in a quest. And that is kind of like the lure of this character, because she doesn't typically the champions who don't hit too hard uh, you always end up taking a lot of chip damage so that is the main reason why champions like Dormammu or even like OG Vision who do some things really well they do how to kind of compete with this chip damage with the cost to run them and how long the fights are with clairvoyant you kind of switch it all off you can do more damage if you have to you can heal up eventually when you also have to when you have made some mistakes or taken some chip damage uh, so she is going to be extremely versatile easy to run character that will not cost like a lot to maintain she's going to be a great champion for many quests and just kind of like making sure she can keep her health topped up uh, especially with suicides because uh, many champions do struggle to maintain their health with suicides clairvoyant is complete opposite now here i was using an interesting thing because this node had caltrops on it and i switched to bleed immunity and then I could gain power just by dashing back, kind of like utilizing my immunity. So I was immune to bleed and whenever clairvoyant is immune to any status effect or when opponent is immune to one of her status effects, uh, then you gain 4% of your power. So against Caltrops, you can essentially just dash back and get to an easy level 2 from the very first hit of the fight. Uh, so I did find that quite a bit funny. And now against, obviously clairvoyant has a lot of extra benefit when she's fighting immune characters that are either immune to bleed, poison, or incinerate, because then uh, you can use appropriate curse and you can cycle your power a lot more efficiently. So now we're using bleed curse. As you can see, every time he's immune, we do gain some extra power and we are uh, easily getting to more of our special attacks. So clairvoyant definitely is kind of like very special spammy character and it's really easy and cool to use and i even haven't properly mentioned the fact that she can nullify all the buffs so long as she has clairvoyant charge every hit she does on opponent can nullify an active buff on said opponent therefore she can work as well like a really nice buff control character kind of like a scarlet which used to be and so yeah that this clairvoyant is essentially kind of a mix in between Mephisto, Ghost Rider, Scarlet Witch and some other mystic characters in an updated package. Uh, only thing that's lacking is some sort of insane damage, uh, but once again that's definitely not the deal breaker. That is an insane amount of utility for a character to have and to play her. As we can see here we can choose to spam heavy attacks and within a couple of heavy attacks we're already at a level 2 mark and then we can drop our level 2. We are stealing power as we're doing so. And then once again, we can go back to spamming heavy attacks if we choose to, and the fight is going to be over in an instant. So yeah, my overall thoughts about this character is that I think she's awesome. I think she's going to be extremely useful, probably in pretty much any piece of content you can use her. I think she's going to be good for variant 1. I think she's going to be good in act 6. I think she's going to be good in AQ. I think she's going to be good in AW. Uh, once again, she's not going to be the most explosive character, but she's going to be extremely sustainable and will answer a lot of problems. I've already seen some videos of her taking on champion boss in 626, and there aren't too many characters who can do that. And again, because she has this massive heal on her bleed curse, she can take a lot of uh, starburst and degeneration path. She can cover your immunities 
like incinerate immune paths and bleed and poison she can also do stuff like do you burn nodes because she can easily spam these incinerates an opponent and i think as the time goes on this character is just going to discover more and more pieces of utility so yes i do think she's one of the top mystic champions in game i do think she's definitely in the top three uh, i think she's completely different let's say from symbiote supreme and from magic i think both of those characters have something unique to bring to the table as well uh, but when it comes to like for overall day-to-day -day use i think she's the most versatile mystic character that can do a lot and is easily to maintain and quite possibly she's gonna make her way to the top mystic character very soon i do not want to kind of like declare that she's the best mystic in the game just because i we haven't seen it how well she performs everywhere how good is she gonna be for aq aw how the meta is gonna shape uh, but she definitely has a potential to be top mystic in the game Therefore, if anybody is fortunate enough to already have this character, I definitely do urge to rank her up. I definitely urge uh, for you guys to explore, find some more unorthodox uses. Uh, tell me what you think about her already. Tell me what kind of hopes you have for this clairvoyant. Because uh, I definitely do look forward for the time when I'm going to acquire her. And do remember that new featured crystal is coming soon. New featured 5-star crystal. So I am personally saving all my 5-star shards in hopes of pulling her. I think it's going to be a really good batch of uh, featured uh, champions. There's going to be, if I'm not mistaken, Invisible Wim Woman, uh, Mysterio, Sunspot, Warlock, uh, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and somebody else that just popped out to my memory. So all of those characters are worthwhile champions to entertain, to rank, to uh, attain. So yeah, I personally will be going for these featured 5 stars, uh, mainly because I want this champion in particular. I hope she marks some sort of a comeback for Mystic Champions in the current meta, because that class is by far the weakest in the game. And I think that Black Widow is definitely a great addition to it. I absolutely enjoy using her. I do not feel it's kind of like the, the lack of insane damage to be a problem there are many characters in meta who don't deal absurd amounts of damage but are extremely useful but the combination of regeneration immunities opponent buff control power gain all that stuff uh, ability to shift in between different debuffs uh, i am 100 percent certain it's going to be useful time and time again she's going to synergize extremely well with mystic dispersion mastery she's going to have some reasonable okay matchups and she's gonna have some awesome matchups and he's a champ she is a champion that doesn't really have any kind of like horrible horrible matchups because even let's say if you take her up against korg uh even though you don't have anything specific to deal with him you still have your regeneration to kind of like maintain the damage and heal yourself up and additionally korg is bleed immune so you're gonna be gaining power quicker and so on and so forth because the more you're gonna use her the more use you're gonna find for her anyways that's what i think for black widow clairvoyant and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like hit the sub button hit all the buttons and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya